Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing fundamental analysis for novices, Eurozone services sentiment. It doesn't matter whether you're an occasional trader, a day trader, or an institutional sized trader. One aspect of trading which is an absolute must is to regularly refer to an economic indicator such as this one in order to plan your trades surrounding the release of economic data. Many traders only trade on economic data releases as soon as the data is released. They will have orders already placed into the market or execute instant trades depending on the statistical data releases as they come out to the market. This is called trading on fundamental news flow. It can cause extreme volatility in the market. This is just one of the many reasons why you need to be informed as to when countries release their economic data statistics into the market and where these are usually released at set times and subject to an embargo. Most brokers will provide their traders with an economic calendar and the critical components are the time of the release, which may not necessarily be in the local time, the time of the event, showing the country and the data to be released, including which aspects of the economy it refers to. The date, the time and the impact that it will likely have upon release is usually included in three levels, low, medium or high risk. High risk is more likely to cause volatility in the market. A general consensus amongst economists and analysts with regard to what to expect is also included alongside the previous data release. Economic data release is typically updated weekly, monthly, quarterly and annually. Here we can see that our area of interest today is the Eurozone services sentiment for June, which is set to be released at 10 a.m. British summer time on Monday the 29th of June. The impact level is set to low, and the actual figure for the previous month of May was minus 43.6. So what is the Eurozone services sentiment indicator? The indicator is calculated on a monthly basis by the European Commission and is seasonally adjusted. The services sector comprises firms only in service industries such as transportation, information, trading and securities, investment, insurance, mortgages, waste management, private healthcare and social assistant, arts entertainment etc. A sample of 18,000 companies across the Eurozone are surveyed about business conditions for the last three months and where they are asked three questions. If business conditions have improved or worsened, remain the same over the last three months. If the demand for the services has increased, decreased or stayed the same over the last three months. And they are also asked a question about the expected demand for the services in the next three months and whether they think it is expected to grow, fall or stay the same. Each respondent's answer is weighted to the relevance of the contribution to the country's economy and where each country's response is weighted with regard to the contribution to the Eurozone area. Let's just look back at the economic calendar for June, and although the impact value is set to low, we can see that the previous figure for May was minus 43.6, which is incredible. And it was obviously this low because of the coronavirus impact. The consensus value is minus 27, which is a much greater improvement on the previous month's figure, and where economists and analysts are predicting a general improvement in this indicator. Huge deviations from the consensus, especially if release data is worse than the previous month's figure, will in actual fact cause extreme market volatility. The reason the indicator is so important is because it tells the market if the conditions are improving in the Eurozone area, in which case should the figure come out as minus 27, as per economists expectations or even better, this would be considered good news for the Eurozone and we might expect the Euro to gain in exchange rate values against its counterparts. Should the figure be worse than minus 27, this would show that the actual fact conditions in the service sector across the Eurozone are not improving and the businesses in this sector have a pessimistic outlook for the next quarter. This may have a negative impact on the Eurozone currency, which might fall in exchange rate against its counterparts. Bear in mind that if businesses have an optimistic view, they will be employing more people, perhaps borrowing more money to expand their businesses. It also means that the general population are using more services because they have a more optimistic view of the circumstances in the Eurozone area as things improve from the virus conditions. There is a huge knock-on effect with regard to jobs, extra demand for services and generalized getting back to normal. The opposite will apply should the respondents have a completely negative outview for the next quarter. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.